How you doing, man? I'm a dude jamming dollar himself. Yeah. There I am. In all my glory. <laughs> yeah, I'm that folk singing, guitar strumming dude. And all around the world, you know, singing all them old songs over and over and over again, man, that I love. And I... Can't wait to sing for you some of my songs that I wrote through the years. I'm semi-retired now. I play only at uh, my friends, my patrons' parties that take care of me nowadays and make sure I have my little Buddha garden, my medicine, so that I can now sit back like an old campaigner back from the wars for peace and love. Believe me, I got my scars. You think I'm exaggerating or kidding? I'm here to tell you I'm not. I have suffered from that war against hate and war. Fight for peace and love and understand love between people. Betwixt people that are, that are good people, you know they might be different. Live in far off lands or have different cultural ways. I'd like to sing for you my song, my anthem, This Side of Paradise. It's a song about freedom for me and all my friends. To smoke our inspiring spiritual medicine, to help elevate our minds beyond the mundane, and elevate our souls. That childlike innocence and glory that was the fresh experience and innocence of life. And I am do jam and and I am anointed with the Holy Spirit. And it flows through me like a lightning bolt and spills out of me in poetry and song, paintings and and stories. Ah, many none have ever seen or read, but or heard. <laughs> Been laughed at and ignored, thrown out, vilified. Mm, had the police going through my underwear drawer and laughing at my poetry. Been kicked out. Yep, time and time again. My those I love most. Thrown away for a bottle of beer. But I sang these songs for 30 years in this desert, in this wasteland of war and greed and wealth and acquisition of billionaire, trillionaire, this tinseled age of trillionaire insanity, materialistically insane people running the world. And poets suffer in backyard garages. It's all right, though. It's all right. My glory's coming. Might not be human when I get it. But I know it's coming. Because I've lived it and I've loved it. No saintly divine purity here, folks. This has been a war. And I'm a soldier in that war. I could sing you this side of paradise. Me and my twin brother wrote. And tell you. It's time to stop this. Bring peace and love back into vogue, man. Like the man said, be it the Christ, or John Lennon, or Mahatma Gandhi, or Martin Luther King, or Robert Kennedy, or any of them cats. Many millions of cats you never heard of out there. Peace and love warriors like myself. Well, you ain't gonna hear this song on your red video by corporate sponsored somebody's bedillionaires. You ain't gonna hear it in the bars, neither, because they don't like to hear this kind of thing. Saying, hey, let's get together and inspire each other. Not to get all slashy, crazy, and mean. Meat market each other in the vain superficialities of drunken mayhem. 
out of control, chaotic, and foolish. No. No. Let's go. Let's get the beatnik down. Snappy, bongo, daddy-o. Pink brain philosophy and poetizing folks out there. Let's do that. Let's do that. Jim and Dalla been all around this world singing these songs over and over and over again. Singing the songs with 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 something to say. Yeah, we ain't gonna get no pain gigs in no town. Not in any of these bars and playing for drunks that never listen anyway. Sweet songs of spiritual enlightenment written by the greatest poets who ever lived. Enthused with the Holy Spirit and pouring out in poetry like Bob Dylan and Paul Simon and John Lennon and George Harrison and Bob Gardner and Ringo Starr and all them from the way back when before the corporate goons took over shooting rhymes at you like a machine gun you can't hardly even absorb it it just bounce off you flying all over and pounding in your brain now I come here and play for you tonight I play my song Mystic of the Modern Age and tell you about my long hard road but I don't know I don't do that no more I played out for years I played on the streets I played in the clubs I played in the bars I even played on TV one time been a long, hard road, and it ain't no lie. It ain't no lie. And it still ain't that easy. Now I'm semi-retired, locked behind the gate in my booty garden. My good friends around protect me and support me. And I don't let the losers and the abusers and the cheaters and the liars and the insane haters and the mean, resenting, conceited players get in no more. They don't get in. No drunk stumbling in, no drug addicts. Just good Mother Nature's people struggling to try to still keep going with the fight. To save her before it's too late. Save all life that we cherish on this world. Plant, animal, and human. And I'm Jim Medalla, and I hope one day to find the heart again. The thing that Humanity might be worthy of my love and my poetry one again. And not, and not these faithless, materialistic, superficial, vain, and self-glorifying pieces of meat and bone whose autonomous, totalitarian, authoritarian goons a cutthroat capitalism Trying to rape Mother Earth, murder her children. It's too late, too late, too late for songs. Songs could really save us. Hell, we'd all be saved by now. Oh, I'm still singing them, but I like to sing them alone in my room where I can feel safe. There ain't no public freedom. Well, cops come in and grab out your underwear drawer, take your medicine, throw it in your face, call you a loser, spaced out. Wasting your life away, stoner, dropout loser. Yeah, yeah. But I'm the dude, jamming up. I've lived it, I've seen it, I've looked beyond the veil. I've seen subtle miracles, synchronicities finally woven into the fabric of my existence. And I know. That in all my flaws and all my bloated, mediocre, genius conceit that the universe still loves me. That I am beloved by the whole cosmic universe. And that one day I will be worthy to be reunited with the sun. desires. Only one final thing. The eternal desire that never, never fades and never can be wholly satisfied. The desire to love and to be loved. That's what Jan Mandala is singing about. Now you can subscribe here on the old YouTube 
You can shoot out an email, have them come, play by your fireside if you want. If you want to hear songs by Bob Dylan and the Beatles and Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, and inspired original songs about the long, hard road of war and hate over peace and love, and those of us who fought in the front lines in the darkest dungeons to the highest heights for equality, for courtesy, for kindness for all, as your best virtue, courtesy your finest art, restrained and equal and free company that can live with the restraint that shows no anger, no selfish pride or advantage the kind that serves glad of the sacrifice to be true is to be just and right and great is to serve and I've been serving with my poetry all these years and you know I got tired and I retired and I sit in my Buddha garden and sing my songs and sometimes I just whistle I don't have to carry my amp and my mic stand and my guitar and plug on in and stand there in the middle of town and wait for the police to show up again. No, we hustled off the street, told you can't play. Oh, yes, yes. Many times the old Jim and I have been thrown away like garbage. His poetry crumbled up and thrown down on the ground. Kicked out of town, shouted down. As it says in the song, I got lots of songs. Nobody's heard them. And I'm too tired and worn out to disappointed to play them. Been a long, hard defeat in the war against war. The love against hate. Revolution. Yeah, you thought it was over, didn't you? <laughs> you thought it was done, didn't you? Back in the summer of 69 or some damn thing. <laughs> it ain't over, man. It ain't over till everybody's free. There ain't no more bombs dropping on children. There ain't no more people starving in the streets or worn out warriors from cruel, repeated deployments in the combat zone. Oh my God! 22 a day. Gone, gone. Lights gone out. Children gone out by AK-47 salesmen. <sighs> Lockheed Martin and the big boys, boy in Wall Street, man, they got making a killing all over the world. Killing in Africa, killing in Iraq, killing in Afghanistan. Killing, 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 gonna kill in Iran. Gonna kill in Iran. We're gonna kill in Africa. We're gonna kill in South America. We're gonna kill in Latin America. We're gonna kill. We're gonna make a killing all over the world for oil. We don't even want. And the mother is choking to death. Watching her go. Watching the light go out of her eyes. I should be out there in the streets again. I don't know. I'm getting old. I mean, it's been 30 years or nothing. Perhaps the old jam and dollar. <laughs> but he's still trying. And he's still crying. Well, you know. <laughs> and we got clowns and goons strutting around. Doing their clowny, goony thing. You know, <laughs> cruelly <laughs> squeezing a few pennies out of the porn. They can have their ride, their ride, the big ride, 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 ride. They can have 30 rides and 40 mansions and 50 countries. Pay nothing for it. Oh, that's the life of your fellow man. Business! Business! Mankind was my business! The common welfare was my business. Benevolence! Mercy! That was my business. <laughs> yeah, I do, Jim and Dollar. Feeling pretty, pretty outraged here yeah, these days, and all. Man. Watching it all go down. But we ain't got time for that. We gotta say peace and love still. <laughs> Jim and Dollar, come out and see him if you can. <laughs>